Hey everybody, it's CTK. So we got some more Kid Icarus to go. We got Chapter 14, Lightning Battle right now. Pretty uh, pretty nice level actually. I'm gonna go ahead and dial it back to level four. I haven't found the secrets in this level yet, but oh well. Okay, so we start out, and this is a pretty nice battle. It starts out as a pretty much one v one v one battle. It's it's us versus Verity versus um, Hades, and it's pretty badass. Verity has this lightning, this lightning warrior that she, that she's using to fight on her behalf, and then Hades has resurrected Thanatos. So it's pretty sweet. And then so it's like, how how did he survive during all of this? And you know, Hades interrupts at some point. And yeah, but that's uh that's Verdi's captain, uh Phosphorus, Phosphorus, something like that. And Thanatos is a glue worm. <laughs> Actually he's trying to be like this awesome like fire dragon type thing, but it didn't really work very well. So they're fighting each other while I'm fighting all the underlings, and that's how it's pretty much going to be. So, Thanatos is actually the third time that Pit is fighting him since he did fight Thanatos originally in the, the NES game. And Hades comes in and talks about all the, all the perks of being an underworld uh, agent. Plus, he's the god of death, so, you know, whatever. So, they're talking about, you know, he gets evil powers, health insurance, and free Zoda, which is a pretty sweet gig, just to let you guys know. Most places will not give you free soda unless you work at like a restaurant or someplace like that. But uh, free soda, that's that's actually a really big deal. So, I'm screwing up badly in this level, but that's okay. So, Verity's talking about Phosphora a little bit. She's, she's, um, she controls lightning, which is a pretty sweet power, to be honest. And... Hopefully, hopefully, one of them takes the other out, but I might have to fight both of them at the same time. Actually, I know the answer to that. You guys don't. I don't want to ruin anything for you guys. But, yeah, let's just go ahead and do this like normal. They're fighting each other in the background there. I wish like, I could be part of the part of the battle, but I can't. So, Thanatos dies once again. And now all that's left is Phosphorus for me to take out the, the Lightning Commander. So, we got some annoying people. I was kind of hoping that this would be just like a massive uh, aerial level. And just like have to kill both of them throughout the level, and that would have been awesome in my opinion. Um, I'm hoping for an aerial only level. Just because it would make one the level shorter and two would just be something new. But it has not happened yet. Hopefully it happens eventually one of these days, but I don't think it will. Because that would just be a really short, short level. Again, I apologize for that little, uh, the glare there. Those two blue lights, I'm sure you guys have noticed that throughout this whole thing. I will fix that as soon as possible. I've just been really slammed with work. YouTube, and then Everyday Life. But I will, once again, I will do it as soon as I can. So, Palutena is going to open up a path in this tornado type thing, which I will have to travel through avoiding, avoiding lightning and such. Which I didn't do that well that time, but I will try to do it better the rest of the level. So, just kill things as best as you can while avoiding other things, and yeah, it's pretty much just like any other level, guys. Not much of a difference there, and we'll eventually get to the place that we need to go to, which is right there, the Thundercloud Temple. It makes me like, it, like, it sounds like I'm playing Zelda or something right now. The Thundercloud Temple, and I must get, like, some heart pieces, and the hookshot, and some other things. So, but yeah, it's pretty badass looking, I think, except for when that happens, because that's, uh, that's kind of BS there. 
but oh well. So Phosphorus is uh, recharging after her battle with Thanatos, and Polythena thinks it's a good idea to attack her ASAP so she doesn't have all her energy back, which is definitely a smart idea. And then we're going to just crash land, go ahead and crash land in the temple. Kind of wish that we could just crash land into her chambers and destroy her, or other things. But, yeah, unfortunately, this is where we are. We'll get some food, which I think this will heal up all, all of me. I'm just going to do a straightforward level for this, guys. I kind of looked through every place last time I played, and I just could not find anything. So I don't want to waste that time for you guys. I'm just going to do everything as straightforward as possible and move on. Hopefully you guys are doing all well. There's a, there's lightning there. Don't touch the sides. Otherwise, it's going to it's gonna hurt, let's just say. Oh, I just hurt myself. So, just do that and some of this. And, yeah, nice. Just run for the gold. Elevator will take me up eventually, but I can't touch the sides. Otherwise, I will get shot. Yes, if Chris Sandals were rubber, that would be awesome. But oh well. So, Phosphorus thinks uh, Pit is cute, which we will get some dialogue about that later. And then Pit starts uh, blushing big time. Which is kind of funny. So, let's just get this, this happy trigger. And see what we can kill before it runs out. Okay. Cool thing about this level, there's like power supplies throughout the level that we have to kill, so we zap zap the temple's energy or whatnot. Always a good thing to do. And then, yeah, we just go forward. I, let's stand here. Anything? No, that's where I came from, so let's just go. Kill things along the way. Don't get hurt. Uh, there's a lot of uh, rail cars also that we can kill. It'll give us items, which is pretty sweet. And bam. Okay. So let's get this thing. Let's move on. There's another rail car right there, which I kind of screwed up by falling. But, but let's hopefully kill it before it reaches the bottom. There we go. So we killed that, and we got a crap load of items, which is really nice. And that guy annoys the crap out of me. Okay, so let's get all these awesome items. Oh my god, I want that thing. Oh my god, okay. Hopefully I can keep my distance from him and kill him. Oh, crap. He's range now, so I've got to kill him that way. And I don't know what I'm shooting at, so I'm just going to shoot. Something's behind me. That guy keeps disappearing, and it's pissing me off. There we go. Okay. So that should do that. I'm going to get a crap load of food, which is nice. And bam. Kill the bombs. Don't let them touch you because they will explode. Obviously. And run. Run, pet. Okay. So let's go ahead and destroy that. You're not just making fun of me now, are you? Oh, is that a guardrail? Oh, turning red. That's even cuter. I'm confused. What is that? Where is that going, coming from? Oh, there's this thing. I've never noticed that. So let's kill that. Get some items up there. Oh, I did get that. Never mind. I did get that last time. Okay, so they're uh, they're fighting about how old they are, which is kind of funny. Anyways, oh girls, right, right guys. So we have an awesome guardrail, which is pretty sweet. They the force of nature talk about how they don't have the budget for that kind of stuff. So you know, I, I like those little comical jabs in there. They're pretty good. 
So let's kill this guy and that guy. And we're poisoned, which is not good. But that's okay, because all I have to do is that. <laughs> so we have to kill these things, or actually knock them down. So we start the... Start the airflow. And then we can go in this thing, which is pretty sweet. Oh wait, we have to go up the stairs, otherwise we die. No! No! Why am I sucking so much? Okay, so kill these laser guys first, because otherwise they they make things happen, and not good things either, bad things, very bad things. There's this guy that you can kill, uh, I advise you to shoot him from this side so that way he can't follow you because he's too big, and kill him. Okay, nice. So, there's nothing here, actually, besides him, which is strange, but whatever. So, we're just going to get the food right now. The nice, juicy burger. I'm going to go up all the way. Actually, I have to kill these guys first, okay. So, kill these things. You have little electricity spikes that are going to come for you. Not spikes, really, per se, but uh, little things. Sorry for that cough. There's a mosquito in here. God dang it. I hate Florida. I hate Florida so much. Dumb mosquitoes. Okay. So, let's, let's move on with this now that I am trying to focus away from mosquito. I'm going to get that item, and then I want to go up, kill this thing as best as I can before it kills me. And then, what's up here? That thing. There's a guy above me. And, bam, okay, we're good to go, guys. Through the door. And kill this little, uh, little core, I guess, power supply, I don't remember what they were calling it. Yeah, and then go down. Grand rail. Oh, here's the dialogue about it. So, just go on the Grand Rail, go all the way up. There's probably something I'm missing somewhere around here. Try to knock this guy. And kill him as soon as you can. You can get some food. And then keep running. Keep running until you can't run anymore. Well, unless there's a bad guy, then you can kill them. Kill that one. Bam. Okay, nice. These guys annoy the crap out of me. But, as long as you kill them before they do anything, you are okay. Okay, I guess there's nothing else. Oh, okay. Keep going. So, kill that thing. Pretty simple. And that thing... Oh crap. Something popped up when I wasn't looking. I think that's a, yeah. That's a Mimic Beauty. But, as long as you keep your distance, you'll be good to go on that crap. Is this a thing? Nope, another Mimic Beauty. Jesus. Oh, and then another one of these guys. Kill that one. Kill that. Oh, crap. Are you kidding me? That was lame. Okay, let me kill this guy in the air. At least, maybe I can do that. Maybe I can't. Come on, come back. Come back to me, baby. There we go. Oh, this guy has to attack from behind, that's right. 
Okay, I guess he died. And now it's time to go in here. Uh -huh. Okay, jump up this way, maybe. Can't go in there, which I don't know what's... There's something in there. Oh, nice! Oh, I guess I found the secret. Awesome. Okay, nice. Awesome secret item. The Libra Sponge. Okay. Cool, I guess. <laughs> okay. And now it's time to go on to the boss, guys. So hopefully you like this so far. The boss is actually... I can see how she's difficult. She might be this difficult this time around also, so we'll check it out. But she was pretty easy the first time I fought her. Um, Hello there. let's see. Well, I like how Pit's trying to become more and more badass as this game progresses. <laughs> but Phosphor is going to stop his uh, stop his little thing there. And it's time for a fight. Okay, nice. So pretty much try not to get too close to her, guys, and try to keep your distance and attack her as she tries to come for you. That's all. And try to dodge her attacks as best as you can. But, yeah, this is it's a pretty awesome battle. I think she's a pretty badass uh, boss. Her and, let's see, that one guy was pretty sweet. The last commander of Viridis was pretty, pretty awesome boss. So, just attack her as best as you can. And eventually, she will die. Like that. So, she doesn't actually die. She's, like, kind of tired out. And we are done with this level, guys. Hopefully, you enjoy that. She just, uh, kind of disappears or retreats, I think. Or maybe she does die. Nope, yeah, she dies. I think. Yep, she's dead, so Heredes is the only thing left. I don't think she has any more commanders. And Palatina kind of takes him, gets Pit out of there before everything collapses on itself. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you guys next time. This is CTK, and I am peacing out.